going over the um, the layer order for the plate. Um, this is according to the original design of the Hyperline as far as I could find. There's no real um, like articles or anything going in depth about the layer orders. So I just picked apart some YouTube videos and tried to come up with what I thought was how many of each type of material and what material. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna go into the Kevlar a bit because I couldn't get the exact Kevlar. Um, so let's just start with the the layer order. So up front, they had eight layers of UHMWPE. Um, their stuff was a bit thinner than what I got. Um, probably a higher quality also, but that's what I could get. And for the Kevlar, they used um non-woven kevlar they use eight layers of non-woven kevlar um i couldn't get that so what i got was woven kevlar and to combat the difference i'm gonna actually um iron one layer of uhmwpe um so essentially sandwich the kevlar in between two layers of uhmwpe and iron it so hopefully it melts in between the gaps of the Kevlar and keeps it from separating. So we have two layers of Kevlar. I'm going to actually sew these two layers um, before I do the ironing part. So we're going to sew these two layers. I'm going to iron one layer and one layer in front and behind of each um, two layers of Kevlar. And we have that repeating until there's eight layers of Kevlar here. And then at the back, they had um, two pieces of woven Kevlar, so this is the correct Kevlar, um, but they had it glued with something to make it stiff. I have no clue what they used to glue it. It's literally impossible to find, probably like trade secret or something. But I'm just gonna use um, two parts of this to one part of this wood glue. Um, and I've, I've used this before. It makes sort of like a stiff um, plastic film. So that should work fine. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna sew each of the woven Kevlar. I'm gonna iron the one layer in the front and back for all of those. I'm gonna glue this with the mentioned products. And then um, I'm gonna glue everything together after that. So all the separate, um, sort of groups I'll then glue with just this just a, a simple super thin layer um, and then I'm gonna put it in a stuff super stiff um, and it should hold everything um, together nicely I'm gonna sew a little um, pocket that I can all go into
Okay, usually this freaking works, but it's literally not working at all, so. I'm just gonna glue it. three days it took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna mostly it's just stuff drying um so yeah this is the finished plate it's a bit stiffer than I thought but I'm still super flexible kind of like hold the shape a little bit but you can just move it back out easily would conform to you Um, the measurements, as far as I'm concerned, are 0.19. Um, but yeah, 0.19 is the exact same thickness. Carrier. One more thing I wanted to do was weigh it. So, with the carrier, nine and a half ounces. I think I weighed it before without the carrier, it was nine ounces or like eight and seven eighths, basically nine. So yeah, less than a pound, half, essentially half a pound, 10 by eight panel. That's the final bill.